Hello, everybody on YouTube, NFL YouTube prognosticators, and NFL fans everywhere. I'm not doing my picks yet. I'm getting my chest off of this right now before I make my picks in, so I wanted to get it over with, over with quickly. So I think it's going to take longer than the picks, so I figured I'd get it out of the way right now. Last night, a lot of people have been saying the rest fucking blew us over last night. We eventually beat ourselves last night. I'll definitely tell you that right now. Before I move on, Brock Oswald, I tip my winter hat off on you. You beat us fair and square last night. That's all I can tell you. And a round of applause. Round of applause, too. You, you did really good, Brock. You did really good. You have my respect. I'll definitely give you that right now. I'll definitely give you my respect on that. So, anyways, congratulations on the win. You truly convinced me on that. You truly are, are a good guy. Good guy, so. Hey, you beat us, you know? What can I tell you? Fair and square. But I'll tell you one thing. My New England Patriots blew that game last night. We gave it away in the second half. Gave it away! And I'll tell you one thing. We had a 14-point lead going in the se in the first, second half. And the defense could have held them. Our defense never bothered showing up that game last night. We didn't deserve that win last night after that defense they did. And I'll give you this, so thank God Rob Gronkowski may be sitting up for one game. It's not a little minor injury, but still, that was really scary last night for that. Really scary. For him, Rob Gronkowski, he had like six receptions for 88 yards and one touchdown. That was great and all that. But, you know, I hope he does really well. And now I'm saying it could be one game, maybe two games. I don't know. But I hope it's not serious. I hope he comes back full of recovery. But and now with... That's the last thing I wanted to see after that was that injury for him last night. Right after that. But first we got um, Dion Lewis out. Then Julie Edelman will be out for at least the playoffs. Then Danny Amador went down last week. And now Julie Edelman. I mean, not Julie Edelman. Uh, Rob Gronkowski. I mean, we need to get some more wide receivers right now at this point. At this point, we need to get anybody. But thank God it's not, it's not serious. He's not done for the year. At least set out for a game against uh, against Philadelphia. But, God forbid, we did not deserve to win that game last night. We we played fucking poorly last night. Goddamn poorly. We couldn't do nothing in the second half. Nothing. If those of you blaming the referees on that, go fuck yourselves right now. Because a little bit was the referees, but I am not blaming the referees last night. I'm blaming the defense last night. Our defense was horrible. Horrible on defense last night. We didn't even bother showing up last night. He said we were like probably the top five defense in the league. We didn't look like we were the top five defense in the league last night. We were awful. Goddamn awful last night on defense. We couldn't do shit. We couldn't do fucking shit on defense. You know what? I We didn't even really deserve that win last night. But sure, God forbid, we still hung in the game after that. We ended up blowing the game last night. After that, we blew it. We couldn't do nothing. Absolutely cut put nothing. We sucked. We stunk. That's more I could tell you on that, you know. I'm I'm totally embarrassed. I'm totally ashamed on that. You know. Bro, no offense, Brock. Great win. But our Patriots, we didn't look like the Patriots we were in the last um, 10 games. Not at all. Not at all. But I'll tell you this. Brady needs a lot of Tom Brady and the New England Patriots on the offense side of the ball. We need a lot of help right now. A lot of help. You know, Rob Gronkowski, I know he's going to be back from the first maybe a couple games, but I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, personally, I think he's just rest up a little bit, you know, keep it slow for a little bit in time. But, you know, I don't want him to push Rob Gronkowski after that hit last night. Really bad, you know. I hope and wish not the best for that, but, you know. I hope he makes a good recovery, but I don't want him to be down there too fast. But I'm praying right now that Danny Amendola comes back next week against Philadelphia. So let's hope we can go with that point of view. Oh, God. Horrible. Horrible game. My God, just really terrible. But, you know, not for nothing, though. Brock Holt, I got to give Brock Holt some credit, though. He hung in there, and he just fought in the game like he did against Chicago last week. You know, he hung in there. So, I think for, I, like I said in my other video, I gave him my thought of what Peyton Manning should do. I think he should retire, which I never, I don't think I got any comments on that. 
on that point of view, which I still think Peyton Manning should go on and re retire, though. I think Brock Holt's the real deal. Oh, I wouldn't go that far yet. Maybe see how he does for the rest of the year. I want to see how he pulls off on that, but not for nothing, but Patriots sucked last night. We didn't look like the New England Patriots that we were in the last 10 games at all. I mean, it's a real shame. I mean, I had a feeling this was coming, but I didn't expect this game, though. I thought it'd be somewhere like down the line, maybe a game that wouldn't matter. Or something like the Dolphins game or the Jets game. I thought it was going to come down to that point of test some time, but not this point. I didn't think this was the time we were going to do that. Not at all. Not at all. But, you know, you know the refs, the, I would not technically blame the refs on that. I'm not really. It's just we never bothered making the, the big plays that we needed. It was horrible. Horrible job on defense, you know. You know, don't, don't get me wrong on Tom Brady. I mean, mostly it's not really his fault anyway, but he, he, we need a little help on offense. If if we keep losing injuries like that, what if our chance goes down next week? What are we going to do then? And what if the foul goes down? What the hell are we going to do then? We need a little help on offense. You can't rely on Tom Brady all the time. We need, we need to get more side of the weapons off side of the ball. So we need, we need a little extra help on defense. Maybe in the draft we can probably get maybe a... Wide receiver or tight end or something. Maybe cut somebody off or something like that. Or maybe cut the foul during the offseason or anything. But last night was just embarrassing. I was embarrassed to be a Patriots fan last night. Yeah, I truly say, I I admit it. I was totally embarrassed last night. Totally embarrassed at how we played last night. We just didn't make the plays we needed. And we just got our ass totally kicked in the second half. Totally. We could do nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do right now at this point. Let's just hope Danny and Madola comes in next week and see how they do from there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, you know, at this point, if Amadola doesn't come back, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, I hope the defense goes, shows up next week, though. I think... I mean, our defense should be well enough just to do it, because I think the defense, by far, are a little better than we were last year, Consider we, besides um, without Daryl Rivas. But don't get me wrong, Malcolm Butler, he had some good plays in the first half, though, but by the time when the second half showed up, we just couldn't, he couldn't hold up on, on the biggest plays that he needed to hold the most. He couldn't be like in that Super Bowl hero like he did in that interception, like he did in, in that Super Bowl game. Just couldn't caught up with that. But he had a deep little okay in the first half, though. He, he didn't really bother showing up, though. That's my point of view on that, though. I mean, he did really well most of the game, uh, most of the first ten games, but you ne he didn't really bother showing up. I just guess it wasn't meant to be, though. I'll tell you this, though. The Broncos were the better team. They, I congratulate them on the win. What can I do? All I can tell you is um, they just won convincingly. That's all I can tell you. All I can tell you, it's pretty clear out there. Broncos were the better team that day. Broncos were the better team. They they truly um, deserved to win, and they won. That's all I can tell you. And all I can tell you right now, we're on to Cincinnati. I mean, we're not on to Cincinnati. That was last year. We're on to Philadelphia. That's all I can tell you. We're on to Philadelphia, and I'm sure Tom Brady's going to be frustrated on that, and he's going to take his frustration down on Philadelphia. Personally, is that going to be their only loss this year? No, I don't think so. Do I think they're going to lose another game? Possibly. Who I think they're going to lose to? They're probably going to lose to Miami in the last game of the year because Miami plays us good in down in um, down in Miami. Possibly, probably the Jets too. I don't know, but maybe the Jets. I have no idea. Depends who's um who's coming back on the offense. Maybe Amadol may come back. Maybe Rob Gronkowski may be be back then. Because they're all saying uh, Rob Gronkowski may be staying out for one game and that's it. It's just uh, not as serious injuries as everyone thought they were. So, But I'm not blaming the refs at all. I'm not. But those of you who are, go straight to hell. You don't know what you're talking about. Because we never bothered showing up last night in the second half. We were a new team in the second half. I and mean, we just never bothered at all. We, I'm just, it's real shame, you know? Real shame, but... Uh, that's all I have to say on that. I mean, it was really, I was really disgusted on that. We didn't deserve that win. Even if we won that game in overtime, 
We didn't truly deserve that. We didn't truly deserve it. I even I would have said that too. But it was no point of it. It was I was a real shame of it. Real shame. Well, that's all I have to tell you. I don't know. I want to know what your thoughts on that too. I still haven't got my thoughts. What do you guys think of Peyton Manning? To see what he would do. So hey, if you want to write on that too? Write a comment on that. I mean, I'm I'm really open to read it though. Oh, by the way. Uh, before I go, thank you, um, Bridgewater Finest. So, um, for shouting me out and uh, giving me a shout out last week. I really, truly appreciate that. So, um, hey, sorry I couldn't make an NHL video over the weekend. I was far too busy on that. So, I want to give you my, my straight, uh, straight out on that though. But hey, but, um, maybe I'll get it in this week. Cause definitely it's a little, yeah, slower week this week. So, we'll try to get one in as soon as possible. So, so then. I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, for my um my week um I think it was week thirteen picks. So no, I think it was week twelve or week thirteen. No, yeah, I'm gonna do. Sorry, I just wasn't thinking right now. So definitely, I'll give you my week thirteen picks. So um by the time uh, the Monday night football game is done with the Ravens and the Browns, let's hope I go eight and eight, not nine, seven and nine, because. I don't want to be under 500 for two straight two straight games. So let's hope they get at least in the 500 mark to see how um, Cleveland does tonight. We'll go from there. So, so then, good luck on your Monday night game this week. I'll see you guys um, in a few days.